Hello and welcome to the very special tutorial where we are going to explore how to add a new change request type in service now. That's right, we are diving into the heart of IT service management, but we promise to keep it lighthearted and engaging. So you won't even realize you are learning something new, something new, something complex, right? Now adding a change request type might sound like a task only suited to the previous of IT warriors armed with endless lines of code and a deep majestical understanding of the digital trail. But fear not, I'm here to guide you through this journey and I promise the only thing you will need to arm yourself with is a good sense of humor and perhaps a good co cup of coffee. So first thing first, let's navigate to the change management application service now. It's like entering the secret garden of change request where each type holds the key to solving a business, unique business challenges. But what if the garden doesn't have the type of flower you are looking for? Well, that's where we plant the new one and we create a new change type. Here is in the normal, here is in the change type section. It's like being at a buffet. You have got your standard options like normal, emergency, standard change. All delicious in their own right. But today we are going to add a new flavor to the menu. Let's click on new and embark on the culinary adventure of creating a new change request type. That's unique as it's as your IT needs. Okay, maybe super criti critical ultra important might not be the official name. Okay, we go with, but you get an idea, right? It's all about customizing service now to fit the unique plate of your organization IT strategy, ITSM strategy. So without wasting any time, let's get started. In order to create a new change, mm -hmm. first and the foremost thing, what we have to go, just go to the change request. So we will go to, I will just use the shortcut. I'm just annoyed with this particular pop-up. So change request. And on change request, let's open any of the change. So I will open this one. It's loading. And what do you have to do? You have to just right click on the type field. So if you see, this is a type field over here, right? So you have to just right click on the type field and just do show choice list. And here you can see whatever all pre-configured options are there. You can see over here. So what you have to do, you have to click new to create the new change type. So I just click new. It's loading. And here you can simply type change request because we are creating it on change request. I just spelled it wrong. Change request. Now you have to select the label for it. So for, for now, I will just create an expedite change. Okay. So I will just give the name as expedite and you can give the value same with a small case at the bottom, just following the nomenclature of the normal process. And then you can give the sequence. So it will come on five because I already have the four change types, right? So, or you can shuffle it out also. So I will just give it five and I will just go at submit. So now you can see a new change type got created over here with the label expired. Perfect, right? This was the first step. Now moving over to the next step. The next step step is the to create the inter interceptors. What are inter interceptors? So if you go to the change request, right? Change request. Now if you go to from here only I can I can show you now why. Oh I'm not on the screen. If you go to change, change request and if we click, if we try to create a new change, so for example, from here, if I'm creating a new change, so you get some option, what exactly you want to do. So you can see this models, emergency normals and so on. So these are the interceptors. So we'll be creating a new interceptor. How we can create a new interceptor. So for that, what do you have to do? Just go to interceptors. 
we got interceptors and then you just search for change request my bad again I will do star change so you will get this interceptors right so you just click this new change request and here you can see for this particular question you have already couple of options right direct to normal change direct to so what you have to do just click on this or you are just copy it out for any of the change and then you can click on new and create your own so I will go with simple question to redact the URL we'll simply add the target URL the same which we saw just with the tweak what we'll do we'll just change it to expedite at the bottom at the end because we are creating a new expedite change right so over here and we can give a name as it was like direct to normal change or not so I can give direct to expedite change I got just extra e. direct to expedite change and I can give the order for this as 500 because the order is in terms of hundreds, right? I'll give it 500. Um, I think that thing, uh, you can add user prompt also. It's what description, uh, you can enter a description that is displayed to the end user when they click on the new change, okay? Under change. So, so this is expedite change. I will just give like this, but you can define anything and nothing to be changed apart from this. So you can submit. So this particular step is also completed and you can see a new type got answer got created direct to expedite change with a new URL, right? So this step is also done. Perfect. Now what you have to do, you have to search for the change type script include on which to base the workflow for the new change type. So for example, I want to follow the track of emergency change, right? So I have to search for the emergency change Scripting, you can do the changes at later point, but just to follow the state models, right? You have to do that. So I, I feel that my use case is pretty close to the emergency. So I will go with that. So what you can do, you can simply search for a script include with name, which contains name as, so I will go, just go, I'll just close this pop-up script include. And what I'm adding over here, is the name so it change request state model so what is state model so state model defines from which particular state to what all state it can go so for example from new in normal change it move to access or cancer state right from access it can go to authorized state or cancer state in a similar way right so for every change it's different so if you see over here how uh, we have state model SNC for emergency, normal, standard and all, right? So we want it for emergency, right? This particular. So what we'll do, we'll open this out in the next step. And what you have to do, you have to just, because we will be following the same model, right? So you have to do, you just, you can simply copy the script out from here and you can click a new create a new uh, script include I will just paste the code for now I've copied right yeah perfect and here what you have to do we can give the same name over here Z to expedite right that's it so over here I can change the name to expedite just to make this aggregation from rest of the change request. So expedited, I've added. And next thing, what you have to do, as we have changed the script include name and copied it from the other script include, right? We can replace this now name out. 
So you can simply use this replace all option. I want to replace with this particular statement. Expedit. And what I need to replace? This. So wherever there is a reference to the emergency chain, I will uh, I will refresh it with the expedite one. I will just do replace all. And I will just verify it out. So I can see, okay, the script include is looks good for now. That will be at the bottom also perfect. So once it's done, you can simply submit the change out. Uh, submit the script include out. So this is done. Now the next thing what you have to do, you have to give the reference that this particular changes exist, right? This particular change exists to the system. Okay. Now how you can do that? So for that you have to just go again. I will search for script include, which is a handler script include which handles all this activities out. So you can just type script include change. What was the name? request I just made a mess again but change request state handler and if I go to enter so here we get the handlers so basically what we have to do if you look into this particular SNC right SNC handler so it will have some properties with respect to every change okay and you have to add whenever you create a new change you have to add it over there so if you see over here you can see normal emergency standard so we want expert over here right but the fun part is this particular script is read only so you can't edit it out over here then you must be thinking how you can edit it out then if you can't handle it out over here so if you know that this SNC script includes is extended by this change request state handler so if you look over here okay over here you can see uh, this particular object extended SNC handler so basically this particular script include will have all the properties plus function which the handler script include SNC is having okay so you can add it over here right and it will get added to that so you can simply add over here. In the similar format, we will add. Okay. So you can simply add below this. You are just defining one variable out. And you can simply put the comma. Okay, there's this error. Okay, perfect. It's done. So you are done with all the setup for the new change itself perfect right it was pretty quick and i'm going uh, pretty faster because within uh, 15 20 minutes i have a service time maybe call so before that i have to complete this out so this is done now next thing what you have to do you must be thinking oh we didn't do anything on the workflow side right because the workflow is the one which get executed when whenever this iteration happens so now what we'll do, we'll go to the workflow. So I will just go all, I'll go workflow, workflow editor. As we are referencing to the emergency chain, so we'll just copy the emergency change workflow. And at a later point, you can do the changes to that new workflow. So you can see on the change request, it's, it's showing at the top only. Change request emergency, perfect, right? So I just click on that. I'm not altering anything on the emergency change workflow. Okay, make it in mind. Keep it in mind. So what I will do, uh, I will just copy this out. So where exactly my so I will just go copy, copy this workflow out and what name we should give. So I'll just give the name as change request expedited. Okay, so it will create a new change. so it's creating perfect change request expedited got created and it's at this moment check out state i kept it on checkout state for a reason okay what was the re what is the reason because there is a workflow underneath it there is a subflow underneath it what is change request emergency task emergency change task workflow. okay 
So what we want to do over here is where is that particular function? Emergency change task. This is the one, right? So let's copy this also, right? Because we want to. So I will just copy this. And what was the name? Change request. Change. It's not mandatory to keep the same name, but I'm just following the nomenclature. Okay. Dead. Change task. Okay, done. Okay. So this workflow is done. Okay. And nothing to be changed on this particular one route, right? So I can simply copy the name of this. Command C. And I can simply publish this workflow. Okay. Now coming back to this previous one. Now what you can do, basically what it's doing. Okay. It's going from here and from here. Right. So I can simply remove this out. Do it. Can remove this. Do it. And the this is the one, right? Admit. Okay. I just did this out and this is the one, right? You may taste way. Oh, yep, here it is. Okay, I was thinking where exactly. Come on. So, here. Yeah. Listen to one, right? Very low. I can click on this. Oh, two word create. We're taking this one to the bottom. Over here. And we can fix this out. Done, done. And you can publish. Perfect, right? So we have completed all the steps okay required to create a new chain and the new chain got created it just got created okay and just like that with a few clicks and a dash of creativity we have cre added a new change to request type to our service now instant it's a small step from an IT team but a giant leap for, for your organization efficiency and adaptability so there you have it okay adding a new change request type in service now does it have to be daunting task with the little guidance and positive attitude, you can customize your ITSM process to better suit your organization needs. And remember, if you ever feel lost in the digital world of service now, we are I'm there to help you out. So if you have any queries, you can reach out to me on LinkedIn and so on. So thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe for more helpful and engaging tutorials. Until next time, keep navigating the ever exciting world of service now with the confidence and a bit of humor. Thank you and have a nice day.